Hello everyone. Welcome to our latest series of image processing tutorials. Throughout this series, we'll guide you on how to edit images with JavaScript. This marks the beginning of our series and in today's video, we'll walk you through the process of converting an image to grayscale. Let's dive in. First, we'll create a new HTML5 page with the specified code. To control all triggers, we're incorporating some essential elements. An input element for selecting files and using a load button to trigger it. A select element allows users to choose their preferred conversion method. The convert button facilitates the image to grayscale conversion. The download button is there to help us save the results. I have already finished the load file function. Now, let's delve into the three ways of using JavaScript code to achieve image to grayscale functionality. Firstly, we employ the CSS property filter, making an HTML element display in grayscale. While this approach visually grayscales HTML elements, it won't save the image in grayscale. Let's refresh the page and give it a try. Secondly, we use Canvas. Unlike CSS, Canvas allows us to manipulate image data directly, providing a tangible image converted to grayscale. Here's the detailed process. Set the canvas's size to match the image's size. Ensure that the canvas dimensions are equivalent to the dimensions of the image you are working with. get the context of the canvas to perform actions. This context provides methods and properties that allow you to draw and manipulate the content on the canvas. Draw the image onto the canvas. This step establishes the initial visual representation of the image within the canvas space. Get the image data of the image. Image data stores the pixel values in the RGBA order with integer values between 0 and 255. The order goes by rows from the top left pixel to the bottom right. Create a function to get the gray value from the RGB values. There are many ways to calculate the gray value. Here, we use rack 709 luma coefficients for the conversion. The calculation speed is optimized using multiplication with integer and bit shifting. Then, use nested loops to iterate through each pixel in the image data array. Apply the grayscale conversion function to obtain the corresponding gray value. Set the red, green, and blue values of each pixel to this calculated gray value. After processing all pixels, use the put image data method to update the canvas with the modified pixel data. The canvas now reflects the image in grayscale. Any subsequent rendering or user interactions will involve this modified representation of the image. Let's save and refresh the page to try it out. Here, we choose the canvas method and click the button, resulting in the expected grayscale output. Moving on, let's explore converting an image to grayscale with Dynamic Web Tween. It is a document scanning SDK with built-in basic image editing interfaces such as Rotate, Crop, Mirror, Flip, Erase, and more. To integrate Dynamic Web Tween into your project, the first step is to include the SDK on your web page and initialize an instance for image conversion to obtain a license key. 
You can apply for the license on the customer portal, and I'll provide the link in the video description. One notable advantage of employing Dynamic Web Twain is its capability to efficiently batch process a large volume of images. This is achieved through native processing, ensuring optimal performance. To manage buffer memory usage, it's advisable to release memory using the Remove All Images method, especially when dealing with a substantial number of images in the buffer. Now, let's leverage the power of Dynamic Web Twain by utilizing the Convert to Gray Scale method for seamless image conversion. Upon completion of the function, it's essential to check for and output any error codes. Following this, we create a new UI-less WebTwain instance, uniquely identified by the parameter WebTwain ID. Let's save and test the page. With these steps, you now have three distinct methods to convert an image to grayscale using JavaScript. One notable benefit of Dynamic WebTwain is the optimized output image file size. This is achieved by leveraging native image libraries, contributing to more efficient size optimization. We trust that you'll find the method that best aligns with your specific requirements. Thank you for exploring these diverse approaches to image conversion. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful content.